So now I'm going to talk about European board games. I, I had to make a decision. I, there, there are board games that come from all over the world. And you know, and I think I will talk about them in future videos. Um, I was reading about uh, games that came from out of Mexico and South America. Uh, I really want to talk about those games. Um, there, are some, there are some board games that came out of Russia I'd like to talk about. Again, the focus is, is on board games. And in the future, maybe I'll talk about uh, card games. Card games that come out of different places around the world. But in the time that I have, I, I, I'm very limited to what I can talk about. So, so the next games that I'm going to talk about, the next one, is I'm going to talk about a game called Takenoko. Takenoko. Yeah, there you go. This is a combination board game and card game. You need cards and tiles in combination with a board. And what's very interesting about this game is that it's very stylized as coming from Japan. And it's got a lot of this very, very ethnic Chinese imagery as you often see in Japanese manga and Japanese uh, anime, you know? And even the name, Takenoko, it, 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 it's, it's Japanese. And just the whole mood of this game is very Japanese. Um, and uh, the, way, the way that it's sold, even, even um, the original board game instructions were written in Japanese. But you might be surprised to know it's French. It's a French game. Yeah. It was invented by a French teacher who used to be a video game developer. And he kind of got really burned out, really tired of doing video game stuff. But he really wanted to keep making games. And he became a teacher. And while he was teaching, he had to come up with things to entertain and teach and he invented this game, Takenoko. And it became so popular um, when he was, uh, you know, kind of creating it and kind of coming up with the ideas for it. And he really needed to brand it in, in some very unique way. And so what he did is he created sort of a fake origin story for this game. And so it's a very Asian-themed game. So he decided to make it an Asian game, even though the inventor is French. The funding to make the game is French. Uh, and he invented it in France in, in, in university while he was teaching classes. So there you go. But you know what? Uh, this is a great game. The, this game actually is also in, available in video game uh, format. You know? But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've only heard very, very good things about this game. So much so that I really want to be able to play it. So I hope if anybody plays this game, up, please let me know how it is. So, um, Takenoko. Japanese inspired game, but actually it is not Japanese. It is French. And of course, if we want to talk about French games, who who can uh, forget the game Risk, the game, the board game that is a war simulator. It's about it's about war from you know the 18th and 19th century European battles between countries. And what's very interesting is this game. Uh, was played for a really long time until an American board game company bought the rights to it and renamed it Risk. So, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, interesting. So if you've ever if you've ever played this game, uh, then you know that uh, it's a great game about uh, trying to conquer other countries. There you go. But definitely, a, a, even though it is owned by an American company, it is a French game. Oh, um, a little interesting trivia. 
about this game is it was invented by a French filmmaker from the 1950s. So it's not even a really, it's not even a very old game, actually. It's, um, it, it was invented in the 50s by the same uh, filmmaker who made movies in the 50s. And uh, sometime in the 60s, I'm going to say 1967, the, an American card company, Parker Brothers, bought the rights to the game. So anyway, so actually it's not a very old game. It's a pretty new game, even though the setting of the game takes place 100 years ago or 200 years ago. We have to talk about Germany. Now, remember I told you that there are so many board games that came out of different parts of the world that I just don't have the time to talk about. But nowhere is there such a place like Germany where so many board games are created. Germany has a long history of board games. It's crazy. And uh, I think maybe next video, maybe uh, next week, next stream, not next video. Next video is a whole other board game. But uh, next stream, maybe I will do German board games because there are just so many. I think that might be a good idea. But anyway, we are talking about a popular German board game now. So I talked a little bit about uh, Ludo, Ludo, where you have to roll dice to advance your pieces to different things. And then I talked a little bit about Risk, which is a French board game, which is about resources and want to take over a country. But actually, um, this game, Catan, takes all of those ideas and makes makes the game about total resource management. So it's how you get wood and lumber and, and corn and wheat and land and water and other resources and how much of those resources can you get before your opponents do. And the most that you get, the more you get, the more you take away from your opponents until eventually you are the only one with access to those resources and you win the game. Yeah, Catan, or Settlers of Catan, but this is definitely a very German game. So the next game I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you the picture, and I want you to tell me if you know, if you know uh, this game. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you've played this game before. In English, we call it Chinese checkers. Chinese checkers. And if you remember the earlier game that I told you about, which I think is called uh, Drafts, I think, um, which is a very, very, very early version of chess or checkers, right? Just very early version of that game. Um, this game is just called Chinese checkers. It's, it's checkers. The problem is, it's not Chinese, and it's not checkers. None of this game is like checkers. It's more like chess in that you're trying to remove and own your opponent's pieces. But that's that's not even a very, very good similarity. And it's not even uh, it's not even Chinese. It's German. It's German. And it comes from the games, um, or maybe I, I, maybe I got it wrong. Ah, a Sternhalma. Huh? Sternhalma. Yeah, it's a German game. Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, when it came over to America, it was called Chinese Checkers, and then it got it got imported to Asia. Yeah, crazy. Um, and in, in Asia, it was given its own name. <laughs> but it's a German game. Uh, this is crazy. It's bonkers. Well, that's going to be it for Europe. That's enough time for Europe, I think. And I think maybe the next stream that I do, I'll just focus on 
German board games because there's several, there's several German board game com companies that I want to talk about uh, and maybe you might find interesting and might want to play with your families. You know, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, next up, we're going to talk about something different. 